Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today in the review room, we're going to take a look at this PS4 exclusive collector's edition of Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, I'm doing this a little bit different in case you happen to be in the store and you, you are thinking of pulling the trigger on the statue. We're going to take a look at the statue from the collector's edition right off the bat, and then we're going to back it up and go to uh, the unboxing for those interested in the accessories. So I'll shut right up right now, put on some music, and you can have a close-up look Look at the statue and when we come back we'll talk a little bit and get right into the unboxing here you go check her out And we are back. Now, I just want to let you guys know that if I'm not naming the character or the creature or anything that makes it seem like I know what I'm talking about, that's because I don't. I don't know what her name is. I don't know what this creature is. All I know is I seen images of her running, shooting the arrow, and I seen a couple images of the creature. I'm very excited to go into such a gorgeous game with knowing as little as possible. That's how I love going into uh, movies and video games that I, that I automatically know I want to get invested into. Like when The Last of Us, when I first saw that trailer, I tried to stay away from every other trailer after that, and I just bought the game knowing as little as possible. As soon as I see something I know I'm interested in, that's what I like to do. However, with this, I did not find out about this uh, game until three days ago. This past Sunday, my brother told me if I don't buy this game, he was going to punch me in the throat. He said it looked gorgeous, it looked like it played very well, and it just looked like a must-have on day one. Now, the reason I didn't hear anything about this is because I am very selective uh, currently with the video games that I waste my time looking into because I feel like 95% of the gaming industry, for me, it's just underwhelming. Even the great games or the good games, I tend to feel like they could be done even better. I feel like there's a lot of, oh, this worked for this game, so let's just steal some of those aspects and then put them in our game, kind of like what Hollywood does. It's like, okay, this worked, this made money, so let's just repeat that with a different dress on. It's a, You're dating the same chick, different dress, that's all. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. We'll get into the unboxing. I just wanted to clarify why I don't know anything about her, her name, or the creatures. However, I think this statue looks awesome, and I just can't wait to dive into the game because it looks fantastic. It looks gorgeous, and I'm hoping it plays well and has a interesting story. That's all I'm hoping for. Good gameplay, gorgeous visuals, and an interesting story, and they'll win me over. With that said, let's cut it right to the unboxing. All right, here's the box with a black and white image of the main character on the front. I love it. The sides, both of them have that image. And then 
the back has a brief description, a couple images from the game, and then down here is the contents. You have the statue, the steel book, the art book, and then you got some digital exclusives, I'm assuming, from the collector's edition. Now, you open it up and it appears to be a box inside a box. This is pretty common where you get one box is kind of like the slip cover. Anyone ever see Family Dog from like the 80s, I think, or early 90s, where the mom is dumping out the can of uh, food? No? <laughs> oh man, never mind. I love that. Anyway, that is very cool. That is so cool. All right, I'm geeking out because I saw a robot that looks freaking epic. But you have your main character down here. You have a gorgeous box. You have a huge robot right there. You have our, our character in a warrior stance. You got some mountains down here and some really epic looking uh, robot monster creatures that I started geeking out about. And then you got a tree, basically art all the way around. And it looks like we have the ruins of some building there. And I think this artwork is gorgeous. This would probably make for a fantastic poster. And I bet you any money they already have one either in the works or coming out soon. Look at that artwork, it's, go uh, artwork. it's gorgeous. Anyway, so you open it up from the side and you get your steel book. Let's do that first. Here's the cover, gorgeous cover with the symbol right here. I have no idea what that symbol is. You get your digital download code. You get your disc with the main character on it. And inside artwork has the ruins here. And I love the image of the ruins there. I love that. That is so gorgeous. And then you have the art book. Now, it's not really necessary to dive into the art book real deep. I love that. Look at that. I want to know what that is. I'm hoping that's a bad guy uh, <laughs> just to fight it. It looks so freaking epic. So it looks like you got these warrior tribes. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Listen, one thing, if you guys are new to this channel, I am like a massive fan at post-apocalyptic stuff. Oh, my God. You know what? I did the right thing buying this as a blind buy, just on the scenery alone. I am I geek out over uh, post-apocalyptic stuff like this. But yeah, cool art book, art book. I'm loving it. And then inside, we got the statue. So once you get it out of the styrofoam, this is covered in plastic, and the weapon has a nice thick plastic covering around it where you got to cut some of the tape off. I didn't think it was necessary showing you guys me taking the plastic off. But you also get a piece of paper showing you how to insert the two arrows. Those you also get separately, and you put them in the base right here. Now, if you look top down, that will be the easiest way to find them. They're right here on this piece on the top section, and they're pliable, so chances are you won't break them, but just be very careful, and be careful you don't bend, crush, drop, or knock anything else on the statue, and you should be fine. I really love this piece. I'm actually surprising my daughter with this. I told her I was going to go to the store to buy the game. The game is something I knew she would love to just take the character and run around. She's young yet, so we don't need her to play any missions. She just wants to run around, shoot the arrow a little bit, and she's happy with that. She's actually surprisingly really good in a scary way at, gun at games where there's uh, really complex controls for a seven-year-old. Or maybe I underestimate young kids and their ability to play video games, because I remember playing Mario back in the day, and I could barely jump, you know? <laughs> you had run and jump, and that was it. And I was constantly dying. Anyway, thank you very much for coming by the review room. I really do want to get into more gaming videos. I am very behind on my schedule. I really wanted to have gaming videos up already at the end of January. But you guys let me know if you would like to see at least a review or some type of gameplay or something on this channel featuring Horizon Zero Dawn let me know down in the comment box. Thank you for coming by the review room, and don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Subscribe now.